All right, so this is the outside of 2012 Henry Street in Greenville. And before we head inside, of course, I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on next door. It looks like you do have kind of like an industrial warehouse, some parts sitting out, out here. Um, some boats across here. So I'm not quite sure, but this does look like commercial or industrial to this side. But then down the rest of the way down the street, you do have a few new builds going in in this area as well. And um, right at the end of the street is a downtown Grapevine. So it's actually pretty cute. There's some like vintage shops and restaurants and dining, probably all within a short walking distance. So um, let's head in and check this out. I do want to see... I don't want to walk through the mud, but I do want to let you know I'm checking the roof up here and you do have high wind impact um, shingles. So they are overlaid pretty good, but you do not have gutters. So just heads up, you might want to get those to make sure that your foundation stays nice and healthy. All right, let's see the inside. All right, so coming right in the front door, you will see that this is actually the same floor plan as the, um, I believe, Cornelia Street house. It's just flipped. So you do open up immediately into your living area and kitchen, but you do have quite a bit of space here, which is nice. And some good natural light coming from the front of the house. Once you're in the house, it is actually pretty quiet. This is all granite countertops, nice big island. Good amount of cabinet space. The fridge, I do not see a water line, which most refrigerators these days um, do have that water dispenser. So I'll ask about that, but a good little bar space here. This home is a one car garage. Stats are pretty much the same as the last one since it is a full, the same floor plan. Three bedroom, two bath, one car garage, uh, 1,250 square feet. This one is priced a little lower than the last one, just due to the area. Um, this one is priced at 224,888. Um, I do believe the agent said that she's expecting a contract on this one. So if we're interested, we might want to move pretty quick. Same um, vinyl plank flooring that we saw before, kind of a gray wash, which is nice and modern. This is your laundry room. Good amount of space here. A hallway closet here. First bedroom here. So it's kind of an interesting shaped bedroom, but even on this main wall, you can still easily fit. You could honestly fit a queen bed in here. It would just be a little cramps, get anything else. But it is a good sized bedroom. Um, they need some poles to hang clothes in here, but not a bad closet. Not a walk-in closet like that last one we saw, but still good storage. So here is your bathroom. Um, I'm not lucky enough to have lights, but you do have tile going in here, kind of a marbled white and gray, light gray finish. You've got a good amount of counter space and granite countertops going in here. One sink, but good space. Nice high ceilings. Let's see, other bedroom. Roughly the same size as the last one, maybe a little more spacious. Same closet space, not a walk-in closet. And I'm hoping this last one here is our primary. That'll go out to the backyard, which we'll check out in one second. So yes, this looks like your primary. You could fit a king bed here. It would be a little bit cramped, um, but it's a decent amount of space massive walk-in closet. So now the closets have poles, so I have to think that they just ha maybe haven't gotten to finishing that part out yet. But this one does have your ensuite bathroom. So again, that same 
light gray, white marble tile. You have a stand-in shower going in and a single vanity, but again, that same amount of counter space. So it looks like your bathrooms in this one are a little bit bigger than that last one, which may be kind of why we didn't get as much closet space. Both are great options though. Um, in terms of location, I don't like that kind of industrial warehouse being next to it. But like I said, once you're inside the house, it's pretty quiet in here. I don't notice any major noise, so there's that at least. But a nice, good space. And before I head out, I did want to see if we can get a glimpse of the backyard for you. So back door is right off this main hallway. Okay. So you actually get quite a bit more space than the last house we saw. Um, it does not come with a fence, so I will confirm all of that. But you do have a cute little enclosed porch. And you could always add a fence down the line for a little more privacy. Um, the yard does slope a little bit towards the house. So I would just maybe build this area up a little bit or see if you could add some drainage at some point to make sure that it doesn't flood this area. Your house is raised, so I'm not so worried about it coming into the house and flooding, but I am just kind of wanting to make sure that your foundation would stay nice and healthy in the long haul. All right, so there she is. I'll get this one uploaded and send your way.